Okay, Q&A time. I got a couple of these questions and they don't really fit into their own little video. So I just said, hey, let's do a Q&A. Here we go. Okay, so the first one is, can you explain some of the fabric terminology that you used last time? And I think they're referring to when I did the selecting fabric video or when I did the video where I was unboxing the sample yardage for my little black dress collection. Hand, that was one of the things they asked me about. So hand basically refers to what does the fabric feel like when you touch it? And it's just kind of a, a fashion terminology we use like, oh, this fabric has a great hand. That means, ooh, it feels really nice on my skin. So that's what we were talking about. Two-way stretch. So two-way stretch fabric only stretches in two directions. So maybe just side to side versus something like a four-way stretch fabric that would stretch both side to side and up and down. Facing, what is facing? Facing is basically a small piece of fabric that's typically sewn around the neckline and around the armholes and it just gives it like a clean professional look. Okay, next question. So what is your favorite part of fashion week and are you gonna show in September? Favorite part of fashion week? Uh, the after party. <laughs> I really do like, I mean, I've shown during fashion week um, and I'm, I just did a presentation, but fashion shows are really expensive guys. I think that they are a fantastic way to have a lot of people and more or less the right people look at your collection, right? But these days, you know, we have social media and there's a lot cheaper way to get your brand in front of people. You can DM people you're interested in having look at your work. You can have just a broader audience and it's not going to cost you, you know, 50 grand, right? Which is, could be what a fashion show costs. They're very expensive. I feel like personally from my experience that a fashion show does not give me the same return on my investment that say something like a trade show would give me where the people coming are actually just buyers. Whereas a fashion show, you have buyers, you have influencers, you have just people who were able to fake it till they make it and get in. There's a lot of people that get in that are not always going to buy what you're selling. And that's really what you want to do is get your collection in stores or on people and making clothes is fun, but you also have to keep your lights on. So speaking of which someone asked me what are your thoughts on trade shows so i think trade shows like i said before are probably a better use of funds but you will probably not see a good return on your trade show investment until maybe like your three shows in i think that's kind of like a rule of thumb is like you're going to show up a couple times to trade shows before you get the type the volume of orders that you're really looking for but that said trade shows are a lot less expensive than fashion shows are but some of them can be expensive, but they do have cheaper ones for emerging designers. And if you think about it too, the reason why people wanna see you show up a couple times is because buyers wanna see that you're kinda of like in it to win it. And they wanna see that you have a little bit of staying power and you didn't just go to one trade show and then fizzle out. Really shows like Magic or Coterie are not open to the public and they're open to wholesale only, but I do know that sometimes they'll have certain events or days that are open to the public. There are also some shows that may allow what's called cash and carry, which you bring cash in, you can carry some merchandise out, which means that you're actually able to shop some of the items that you do see in the booth versus them typically being wholesale where people place orders for months in advance for their store. Trade shows are kind of their own beast and I will try and film that later in the year when I go. Do you do custom work? Yeah. I due to custom work. I can talk about that a little bit. Custom work is not just someone who wants to, you know, go to Cinderella's ball. Custom work can range from someone who does have an event to go to. Maybe it's anniversary. Maybe it's they just want something special. And sometimes custom work is someone who maybe has a body type where they have trouble finding clothes in a store that fit them. And they want something like a work wardrobe or something like that. They said, hey, I can't find anything to wear to work and I will maybe do a custom sloper for them and we'll go through and we'll give them a whole new work wardrobe. So custom work has kind of a wide variety of facets to it. Okay, will you be expanding your sizing and do you do plus size design? Yeah, 100%, I'm totally doing that. I'm actually working on that now with this collection and we're working on taking the sizing up to a 3X, yay! 
So with that, it's up to me. It's kind of my responsibility to do a little bit of that homework. It's a little extra work in terms of, I wanna make sure that my girl who's wearing a size two looks and feels just as good as my girl who's wearing a three X. So that's very important to me. So that's kind of in the process right now, that's kind of what I'm doing and trying to figure out how to make it perfect. I'm kind of a perfectionist. I just want it to be great for everybody. Okay, so I wanna say thank you so much to everybody who sends me the questions and who comments. Um, whether you email me, you DM me, you comment down below, I definitely appreciate it. It makes me, gives me the warm fuzzies to know that I'm being somewhat helpful. <laughs> um, that being said, I do get some of these questions and they don't really fit into becoming, they don't blossom into a beautiful butterfly of their own video. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just compile these questions and every now and then I'll do like I did today, I'll just do a quick little Q&A. And if you feel like I maybe didn't answer the question the way that you wanted me to answer it, or there's a few more details that you want, please go ahead and let me know. I'll either answer it down below, we'll save it for another video, but don't be shy, keep them coming. You know what to do, go ahead and like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.